Hello all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro where we continue our Astro pre-install series with what is really the last of the must-have sort of software you need to install um, and if you don't use guiding well you won't even need this one. I may come back later and add a couple more parts covering software that's nice to have installed but up to this one is what you need to have installed. So we're doing PhD2 guiding today and I think we'll get straight into it. As usual the link to the PhD2 website is in the description and simply click up the top here to download the latest version and once you've done that all you need to do is go to wherever you've downloaded it to I've just got to put it on my desktop and double click on the installer uh, this is a pretty quick install so next 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 install and it'll zip through then it'll ask you do you want to use the readme's no but I do want to launch it to configure my uh, guide camera and scope so click finish and when it first starts it pops up your welcome to the first light wizard so this is to set up your camera and mount initially so go next now it's best to have your gear your camera and your mount connected so my guide camera if you've seen the early ones I did I set my guide camera up as the ASCOM driver number one for the ASI camera so I select that yes it's connected and it'll just get the details it needs from the camera then you need to set your focal lengths I have several different ones but uh, the one I've been using generally is my Orion Mini so and it has a 162 millimeter focal length and I just click next for the mount my uh, EQ6R it's connected yes and as you can see you've got that unless you've got a real high-end mount don't worry about the encoders click next and you'll get this warning telling you to make sure you've got your mount driver set up properly I have so next I don't have adaptive optics uh, you will need to do that if you're doing it so I go next um, I don't have a rotator connected and this really only affects if you're using off-axis guiders uh, which will rotate with the rest of your imaging gear if you're using a separate uh, camera and telescope then you don't need one in to set that up anyway so just click next add a profile name uh, this is my Orion mini 50 millimeter so I'll just name it that uh, and um, yes you need to build a dark library I'll just do it now an auto restore calibration um, I check this as long as your guide camera is in the same orientation the, every time you set up it's generally fine doing this just to save you redoing a calibration it's up to you as mine's pretty much always in exactly the same orientation I do the restore just to save a few minutes if things go wrong later on I'll just do another quick calibration so click finish and then it'll pop up the uh, dark library creator um, I use I only go up to about three seconds so I just create a one to three second um, exposure times I like to take a few extra so I take eight and of course you're creating a new library you can make any notes if you want to do it and just click start uh, it tells you to cover the guides of course so they're dark and away it goes now this will take a few seconds depends on how many you select to make and how long you're going for so I'll come back when this is just about finished and we'll finish this up and we're just about done here and once this finishes the last image you'll be all set to go now this is about all I can do for now everything else you need to be out under the skies to do calibration etc um, hopefully I'll get a clear night sometime between now and Christmas it just isn't happening at the moment my forecast for the next week is another week of no sky for Astro so I'll finish this series off here uh, I'm just going to disconnect everything and close down that and um, that's it so as I said this series is going to stop here for now I like I'll come back and, and do some desirable software later on but after today I'm going to be moving on to my deep dive into astrophotography tool which is the imaging software I use so I hopefully anyone who's interested can join me in those ones but for now I'll just wish you all clear skies and you can pray for me to get some it'd be nice but take care everyone talk to you later